Hi everyone, my name is Sunita and I'll be discussing and showing you some of the lab exercises with uh, Data Stacks. Uh, this VM I have downloaded from Data Stacks Academy and everything is pretty simple uh, over there. Everything, all the commands are listed uh, in an ordered way that you would be able to understand it very easily. So I'm opening this DS201 solution. So here it tells me all the instructions that what I have to do, install and data stacks enterprise. So the first thing that it asks me to is to get into the root directory. So let's open one terminal. I'm already into root. I have already got this uh, uh, kind of binaries uh, which I will be using for installation. So let's get ahead with it. It's done. And with this, if you notice, we have got this folder here and now it is asking me to move this to this name and and then uh, here in this file it's doing some kind of configurations so normally if you install Cassandra if you download the binaries there are different locations conventional location where it would place the data files, cache files, logs etc. But here with this file it will do some different configuration so that it's easy for us to use. And here it's, it tells us that what it has done differently. So these are the things and these ones. Okay. Let's get to the bin location and start this. Okay. All right, let's see whether DSC is up or not. It is, it says up and normal, which is a good indication for us. And now we'll practice CQL, which is Cassandra query language. Uh, so here in this uh, CQL, they would be using one key space, which is killer video, and uh, create a table to store video metadata and load data for the video table from a CSV file. So they have got a dump file already in which some information is already there, which we would be using to uh, upload that data to a table, query that and see how information looks like, then create another table with certain different uh, uh, keys and let's see that how, how, what, what different we discovered. Okay, so let's get to SQLSH and we are creating a key space. So now when we create a key space, we give this replication class in the strategy replication factor equal to one. So this is a very good thing and uh, we may discuss this later on in a great detail that what it is. But just for now, we can say that simple strategy, uh, we have got different strategy. We have network topology, we have uh, simple strategy, we have replication factor one, two, three, and then also when it gets to the consistency level, there are quorums and then we will see that how is it related. So right now I'm going to create this table. We'll use killer video, which means use the schema. 
and then create this table done and then insert insert into videos these are the columns these are the insert into videos these are the columns that I'm talk, uh, we are talking and these are the values so done select start from videos we have got one row now we'll uh, insert another row if we want let's select again we got two rows truncate the table and let's see whether it got truncated or not okay it is done there there are no records now we are going to load some rows from a csv file five rows imported and now let's select and we got one two three four five rows so it comes to So now it's, it gives me 5, but it's give me a little warning as well. Okay, now exit. Okay, it's up in normal. Again. asking us to get into CQLSH use cloud video okay got it what is the partition key so here if you see the video ID here is the is the partition key okay how many partition are there in the table one for each unique primary key value so let's select okay Excellent. and let's see our csv file This, this is how our CSV file looks like. We have got this header tag, video ID added, day, added uh, date, title, and then these are the column values. Again, start the CQLSH. Create another table. And now we are <coughs> inserting uh, records again from the CSV file. But here is some difference that here the, my primary key is tag and video ID. Verify that the rules have been imported done and now we are selecting rows based on different columns so I select a tag I got it I select Cassandra got it if I select title I want because when I created this table, I'm giving this title and I do not have 
this title included in the primary key and that is why it is arraying out. So whenever we are creating any table in Cassandra world, it is very, very important to choose the correct column to create your partition key. Otherwise, your, the Cassandra won't know where to, where to go and find out the details because the data distribution is based upon the partition key, which you define as a primary key in your table. Okay, so I think we are done with this exercise. And then we'll follow ring. Thank you very much.